Well, damn. Well, if they just give away the title. Jeez. Okay, fine. We're playing Overlord Raising Hell. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. This is my this is one of my favorite gaming franchises ever. Oh my god. I love this game. <laughs> Mostly because of those guys. Oh, hell yes. Oh my god. Overlord raising hell. This game rocks. It rocks so hard. All right. So. Oh my god, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, <laughs> the only way to show up, shut up a jester is by kicking him repeatedly. But that's okay. He likes it, really. <laughs> I hope. Because <laughs> I'm going to be kicking him a lot. All right. This game appeals to me so much on, like, a million different levels. Oh, hi. <laughs> Minions like nothing more than smashing things. And if they find something useful, they'll bring it to you. Cool. So, basically, what this game is, is... You remember how I... Oh, well, hang on. Oh, okay, good. Uh, basically, what this game is, it is Pikmin. If Pikmin was, like, the best thing ever. Which it's not. Sucks. No, I'm just kidding. It doesn't suck. It's just not that good. So, um, this is Overlord Raising Hell. Now, there are two different versions of Overlord. There's Overlord Normally, there's Normal normal Overlord, and then Overlord Raising Hell. The difference is that Raising Hell has some DLC attached to it. So, basically, Raising Hell is just the complete story. Because, actually, Overlord 2 is a game, and I'm going to be playing it after this. Um, there is story in Overlord 2 that um, it only makes sense if you've played Raising Hell. So I'm going to be doing Raising Hell. It's actually it's the only version of the first Overlord that I own. So if you want to get Overlord, the first one, be sure you get a copy of Raising Hell, not just normal Overlord. So, new game. Legendary. No, I'm going to go for normal. Uh, Infernal Abyss, yes, I will save over that. Yes, because I don't need it. You can stop and steer tower objects and flags manually by locking onto them with L2 and sweeping with the right stick. This is a very, very fun game. It is so fun. You have no idea. Oh, hi. Females... Oh, okay, fine. Couldn't read it all. Here, this one. Good, subtitles are already enabled. <laughs> It's him. Uh, rub some acid in his eyes. That'll fresh him up. Come <laughs> Master, evilness truly suits you. Let us go forth. There are nefarious deeds to be done. I feel the land quaking with fear already. Good. It should quake with fear before my awesome presence. So, this is the... Oh, what was that? Oh, okay. This is Overlord. So, you play, as you would expect, as the Overlord. So, you can walk around, you can do stuff, you can swing a weapon by pressing the X button. Let's see, what does square do? Square doesn't do anything, triangle doesn't do anything, circle doesn't do anything. But, those controls will be introduced to us later on. So, you can move, you can, um... In this game, there's no uh, camera, there's no automatic camera control other than snapping it behind you by pressing L1. So if you want to change the camera, you have to snap it behind you by tapping L1. If you hold it, it doesn't do anything, apparently. I am now Minion Master and Devoted Servant of Darkness. Sorry, I didn't mean the to kick you. The haziness will pass, and your muscles will become limber again. You have been asleep for a very long time. This cavern is the spawning pit, sire, where new minions are born and live. Now you are here, you can call forth minions from this minion gate. Okay. So, you hold L2 to lock onto things, so let's lock onto it. And now you press circle to summon your minions. Ah, look at those keen little evil faces. Ready to loot and pillage at your command. 
let us continue. Follow me if you wish to study the finer points of combat and minion control. <laughs> what are you doing? Of course, if you want to get straight to the smiting, then I shall meet you in the throne room upstairs. I'd rather learn about the, uh, the minion Your control. minions will follow you wherever you go, master. Unless you give them a task. Uh, is this gonna take me out? Where's the, where's the throne room? Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm asking because I don't want to go there. Ah, that's probably the throne room over there. Okay, because that looks a bit more, you know. Okay, this seems like it goes somewhere else. Yes, okay, good. Being overlord is more than just throwing a few fireballs and causing chaos. Proper evil takes skill and maybe, well, just a bit of mayhem. <laughs> I think the Sleeping Beauty's a little rusty. Oh, our jester, sire. I really should have nailed him out for the crows long ago. Teach him to respect his overlord. I love this guy. All right, come on. Taunt me. No? Okay. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> You're tickling! You're tickling! <laughs> Good! Now hit him again! Don't hold back! So I believe you can walk See? Home. It's all coming back now! Evil is not something you just forget! Come on, you metal lump! You'll get that shit! Now you've got him! So, as you can see, you can walk on to enemies. And I believe once you have multiple enemies to walk onto, you can change which enemy you want to walk onto by uh, cycling through them with the right stick. So you hit it like left or right or up or down. Something like that. So, walk on, hit him. Oh my god! Okay. I think that's about it. Come yep. on, princess! You move like a dead badger! Shame you don't smell as good! <laughs> He's out of your reach, sire. Use your minions to shut his flapping mouth. Oi, Tubbs! They should call you the Overlord! What the hell? I just woke up! Get him! Oh, it warms my black heart to see them running about the place, trying to rip each other apart. <laughs> call your minions back, master! Alright. All of them! So, uh, you can, oh, uh, you can individually call your minions back by, uh, repeatedly tapping the circle button, but if you hold circle, you call all Why, of them back. Mr. Overlord, show me some evil. If you need your minions to follow a complicated route, then you must sweep them through it. So, this is where things get very cool. So, if you use the right stick, this is why you can't control the camera with the right stick. You can fully control exactly where your minions go, as long as they can actually go to the location you want them to. See, I can tell them to go back down there, can tell them to look around over there, tell them to go over there. Uh, you can actually explore areas without actually exploring them. So, for example, if you want to go to an area you can't access, you can tell your minions to go there, and they will break containers for you, and they'll bring everything back. Once they actually have something valuable, you don't really control them anymore, and they'll come back to you, and they'll just give it to you. So, sweeping your minions around is a very, very important mechanic, and you're going to need to learn it very quickly. It's a very simple mechanic, because literally all you do is you just move the right stick and wherever they want to go. Um, you can also sweep them into enemies. So that's a very good way to uh, flank your enemies. So you just sweep them around behind and have them get up behind them. Very, very good way to kill things. So, um, aside from the mechanics, let's go ahead and sweep them on over to the Jester. Get him. There we go. Call that evil? Overlord? Overrated, more like. Don't let him get away, sire! Sweep your minions after him! Bet he'll whittle himself silly! Do I want to know what that means? <laughs> Alright, but oh my god, I love this game. It's so charming and fun because it's all evil. You're a, you play the good guy, quote unquote. You Actually, no, you don't play a good guy at all. You play a bad guy. Ah, I hurt! I hurt! 
I think you're ready, Master. Accompany me to the throne room. Evil deeds won't do themselves. <laughs> so yeah, you play You're the bad guy. To beat him further, if you wish. <laughs> okay, I just beat up on him if I want. All right, that's pretty cool. Um, now another thing is, you see how it has a circle on it? When you sweep minions on it, the number Leave goes me up. Alone, sire. I've got to heal. <laughs> You're fine. Um. When you sweep minions on them, on enemies, it will An tell you... Tower needs its evil yeah, I know. Please don't kill me! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. But, oh, whoops. Yeah, now that's a thing that's gonna get... If you're used to controlling the camera with the stick, that's really gonna get you, because while you're trying to change the camera, you're gonna be sweeping your minions all around, the camera's gonna be zooming out and looking weird. So, keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, you play a bad guy, and the entire point of the game is to do as much evil as you can. It's awesome! This appeals to me in so many ways, it's not even funny. Except it's completely awesome. Um, the minions are so funny, the humor in this game is just through the roof. It's completely funny, and yet there is still strategy to it. Because some minions are better against other enemies than others. Like, there's minions... There's red minions, which are ranged ones, brown ones, which are melee ones, and so on and so forth. It's really, really good. Your throne room, sire. Alas, one cannot be a bastion of evil these days without wretched heroes lining up to prove themselves. That last lot were particularly bothersome, killing your predecessor like that. Still, you're here now, sire. Evil will always find a way. They also looted and destroyed much of the tower. But it's merely a setback for the forces of darkness, sire. You are our new overlord. Rebuild your tower, punish those so-called heroes, and re-establish a dark domain. This is the tower portal, sire. Sadly, it's missing its power source, the tower heart. However, there's still a tiny bit of energy left. It's just enough to transport you to the last known location of the heart. When you're ready, sire, step through the gate. I shall meet you on the other side. All right. And... Welcome! Thank you! How you doing? Most wise master. Yeah, that's better. So when you're in the, um... When you're in the throne room... Uh, you can see a lot of the loot that you've acquired and stuff, and you can eventually, like, trick the place out. There's eventually, like, a minion. Keeper of the ruined tower. It's not ruined. Get out of here. Um, yeah, so you can kick him by pressing, uh, <laughs> you can kick them by pressing no, X. What? Shut up. <laughs> so, I mean, he doesn't Keeper care. Of the ruined tower. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you kick him step into the gate, master. You can kick him as much as you want. It's really funny. <laughs> um, you can see all the loot that you've acquired, and uh, as you progress the game, you eventually get like a little minion smith guy who will let you buy new decorations for the tower. They're completely optional, but it just makes your tower feel a bit more, you know, homely for an evil Sauron uh, guy, you know? So, yeah, it's very... It's Oh, I love this game to death. The only way to shut up a jester is by kicking him. Yes, we just discovered that. Ugh, he just doesn't... He literally will just spout off all the titles that you have, and they actually come up with titles for you every time you do a big, like, story thing. It's really cool. Uh, try to get your minions to leap onto the backs of large opponents. Okay. So, Area 1, here ah, we go. You made it through the gate, sire. This tranquil wilderness... So rural and idyllic. Hideous, is it not? Try not to inhale it, my lord. You can summon your minions from these gates. They are ancient arcane links between your tower and this land. Currently, you can only summon browns. You must find the other lost minion tribes before you can summon them. Perhaps we may recover some of our looted tower objects in this lush, verdant abomination. <laughs> lush, verdant abomination. 
I love Gnarl. Gnarl is great. Oh my god, he's so funny. Oh, I love this game so much. I'm going to be gushing a lot in the first few episodes because of the mechanics and everything. It's so fun. So, you walk onto it. Uh, you walk onto your minion gate and it gets highlighted. That's how you know you uh, locked onto it, and then you press and hold uh, circle, and you can get all your minions. So, also, you can lock onto the minion gates and press R2, and that will send minions back into the gates. So, if you ever want to exchange a minion for another type, you can do that. So, let's lock on. You can press and hold circle and just summon as many as you can. Now, up there, uh, let me see here. Can I check? Aha! Here we go. Okay. So, um... There's the four minion types. It's not really spoilers. It's just they're browns, reds, greens, and blues. As I explained before, reds are ranged units, and I'll leave the other two for later. Um, let me see. I don't actually know what that first icon is down there, the one that has five. I'm not actually sure what that is, but that 100% down there, that is fighting strength. So, we have 100% fighting strength with these. These fluffy creatures barely know they're alive. But you can still harvest life force from them. Remember, life force equals minions. Return to the gate to call more to your side. Yeah, okay. So, we need to move that with five minions. So, we're going to need to gather some life force. So, we're going to kill these stupid sheep. Get out of here. And they drop these little orbs. Your minions will dutifully bring you anything they find. Like this life force. They do not have the wit to do anything else, nor the pockets. You can absorb <laughs> life force yourself, Master, by merely getting near it. Yeah, so you don't have to have your minions do everything for you. You can do a little bit of work, but that's what minions are for. Ah, uh, no, that's important. Uh, that's something for later. We can't actually get that right now, so, yeah. <laughs> Kill the sheep! <laughs> okay. pointless creatures. Yeah, I know, right? God, they're so dumb. Thanks for the life force, though. Master! God, the minions are so cute. All right. Um, so, you gather life force by killing certain types of enemies. And that life force translates... These urns ahead may yield something beneficial. There's nothing minions like more than breaking things. Well, apart from killing things. <laughs> okay. Um... Oh, you can get life force from killing certain enemies, and you can also find items in these pots. You'll know that they're items by the way they sparkle on the ground. Send your minions to go and pick them up, and they are weapons and armor. And as you can see, when you get weapons and armor, it actually upgrades your minions, and you have a higher, um, like, fighting power and stuff. Now we're at 123%. So if you have your minions pick up new weapons and new armors and stuff, they become stronger. And you can kind of form your own personal squad of minions. So, um, I believe when you uh, summon minions out of a gate, it always summons um... I believe it summons the first ones, or like the most powerful ones that you can every time. So, for example, let's say you have five super powerful browns and the rest of them are normal. Every time you summon browns, you'll get those five super powered ones along with the little ones. So you'll always have your strong ones with you. And now, as you can see, our fighting power has actually gone down because now we don't have a full squad of uh, armored ones. Now we have two normal weakish ones. So, yeah, that mechanic is very fun. So you can actually go through these older our levels. Way is blocked. Ah, but we have strength in numbers. Use yes. all your minions on that pillar, and they will work together to move it. Yes, we will. Um, oh, come on. What was I saying? Oh, why do I forget so fast? But I was talking about minion power. Um, that's a cool mechanic, because you can, you know, you can armor up your minions and make them stronger, and you get... You know, like I said before, it's like your own personal squad of minions. and you, Because they all have unique... Well, they don't all have unique, but what I'm saying is, let's say a minion picks up a helmet. You see how that one has a helmet and none of the other ones have one? You can actually... That one will never change. He will always have that little helmet. And you'll always know that minion by his helmet, as long as he doesn't die. So, 
It's a it's a really funny but fun to mess around with mechanic. So now that we've gotten a little bit into the game, I'm gonna end it off. And next time on Overlord Raising Hell, we're gonna move this pillar and see what else we can do. So see you then.